a mí me el book que dije. Ok, y es el padre de la familia, su nombre es Héctor, y es su esposa. María Cristina Cian Bosel. Su esposa's nombre es María. ¿Cuántos hijos tiene en total? Eh, tenemos cinco. We have five children. Eh, el primero es Kirian Gabriela Bok Cian. Ok, uh, the oldest, uh, de la hija, la mayor. ¿no? Sí, la hija. His oldest daughter, her name is Kirian. El, el, el segundo es César Aníbal Bok Cian. Their second Bo son, his name is César. Eh, el tercero es Junior Aníbal okay. The third uh, child, his name is Junior. Y el cuarto es la Kenty Michelle. And his fourth daughter is Ken. ¿Cómo se llama? Kenty Michelle. Kenty me. And la otra. Evelyn. Evelyn Yesenia. Okay, and the last, uh, which is the baby, her name is. era que lo necesitamos pues por lo que que se nos cayó la pared encima verdad entonces uh, vieron los familiares y todos y los vecinos ¿va? y nos dijeron que nos favorecía más en este lugarcito nos donaron ese pedacito verdad porque no teníamos entonces y la pared le golpeó a la nena entonces ya no tenía dinero entonces nos venimos para arriba por esa razón fue que nos donaron ese terreno y necesitamos no tengo estoy escasos recursos verdad para no poder comprar algo así como láminas y todo esto sí mira okay. esta razón so the reason that I need a new home is because we were renting in another place and that house was already like in bad shape and one day while they were sleeping a wall collapsed and hurt the youngest baby and the oldest daughter so they got hurt really badly from it um so Obviously they couldn't live there anymore and he's from, he has really low resources and so the community uh, came together and donated him this little small piece of land for him to live. But uh, obviously he doesn't have the income to start building or neither having a, a tin house or something like that, which is really common around here. So uh, he sleeps on the floor and they don't have a bed. They just put like a, a tarp and that's how they sleep right now. So obviously, like he says, we're we're really in a big need. That's why we need to move on. Pues, primeramente le doy gracias a Dios, ¿verdad? Y a segunda, las personas que donan, ustedes que nos están apoyando, ¿verdad? Porque no, no pudimos el, el pastor, acudimos con el pastor para él nos está apoyando también. Gracias a todos ustedes por apoyarnos en esa forma. So the way that it will impact our lives is that we will be really grateful with, uh, with God, with you, with, uh, people from Casa, and our pastor, because we approached him telling about our situation. He was willing to help us out. So it, it would just change our lives. Estamos eh, comenzando una nueva iglesia. Mi nombre es Pilar Hernández. Okay, I am Pastor Pilar Hernández, and I'm actually starting out another new ministry. Uh, la iglesia que estamos comenzando está aliada con la iglesia Jesús viene. Okay, and the new ministry and church that we're we're building or we're expanding is uh, associated with the church uh, Jesus is. Que ellos llegaron conmigo y me, me hicieron saber su situación. Y la verdad es la primera familia que yo encuentro después de todo con una gran necesidad. <coughs> eh, primero que ellos están posando, que no tienen casa. Eh, alquilaron, pero él, él, él no tiene trabajo. Ajá. Entonces, eh, y la casa donde estaban se desplomó una pared y golpeó a la nena. Okay. So the reason that I chose this family is because the father came and approached me 
told me about what happened where he was renting out, which was a really small area that was being rented, and how it, that wall injured his, his two children. And obviously, when I came and saw their living, current living situation, I was really shocked because, like, up to now, this has been like really like poorest family that I've worked with. So uh, that that just made me want to help. Busquen a Dios porque eh, la crisis que están enfrentando es muy, muy fuerte. Y, eh, incluso como ustedes pueden ver ahí, ellos un maíz lo tienden ahí y acuestan a sus niños, no tienen cama, no hay nada. Okay. So the results I expect from the family after providing them a home is that for them to look more for, look more for God because uh, they're going through a really hard crisis or hardship right now. So uh, they're at a point where they're sleeping on the ground and they just put a tarp and that's basically it. And um, with him, everything's possible. So they, they just need to look for him and he will provide blessings.